Hey, welcome to Todd Miller TV, your resource for its current in the Las Vegas real estate market. Now, I woke up today and the headline of the news right on the front page of Yahoo was United Airlines to buy Continental Airlines and merge to the world's largest airline. Now, you're probably wondering, why are we talking about airlines on a real estate blog? And there is a comparison and this is it. Okay. Um, the article stated that the reason the two airlines were getting together was because the industry needs consolidation. And then once you take two big airlines like that, put them together, they have all these cost savings, and it's more efficient in the marketplace. And you know, recently we saw American and TWA got together, Delta bought Northwest, so United's getting Continental. It's going to be the biggest airline in the world. It's like a thirty billion dollar deal, and it's, they're supposed to have all of these uh, all of these savings that come from it. Well, when you take that comparison of airlines, and then you look at the real estate companies, I'll give you an example in Las Vegas, we have 1,400 real estate companies, not agents, we have about 14,000 of those, but we have 1,400 real estate companies. So why is it in one industry it's good to have consolidation, but in another industry it's just really super fragmented? Well, there's a reason for that. It's called ego. You see, airlines combine themselves with other airlines to get economies of scale because of the financial bottom line, things like that. Well, the reason real estate companies don't do that is because of ego. Here, I'll give you a perfect example. I was over at the real estate school and there was a person getting their license and I was asking people, you know, what do you expect to get or have from having a real estate license? And one of the people said, I just want to own my own company. I want to have my own brokerage and be the boss of it, you know, and have my name on it and all this other stuff. And I says, well, if you could make more money just having a big team at an existing company, you know, you wouldn't have the overhead, you wouldn't have the staff, you wouldn't have the E&O expenses, you wouldn't have all of these things to pay for. If it made better financial decision for you to do that instead of opening a company, you know, and, and you know, going that route, would you do it? And the answer was no, because it was her dream to always do this. She wanted it. Really, she wasn't getting into real estate for a business decision. She was doing it because of ego, because she wanted to have something with her name on it that she was the boss of, that she could show people, hey, this is me and all that other stuff. So the moral of the story is this. Make your decisions based on what's good for your business and not about, you know, ego. Um, you know, something that works for airlines doesn't always work for real estate, but if you think about it, the airlines are getting together because it's a good business decision. So if you're a small broker out there, you're not making it as a small broker, but your ego is getting in your way of helping you make a decision, give me a call and let's have a chat. I don't care if you're in my marketplace or not. This is not about taking your company and merging it with mine because um, you know, likely we're not a good fit. But the, the idea is you know, if you can't get through your ego and you need somebody to talk to, um, give me a call because I've done it all. I've been individual agent, team agent, broker owner of a company. So I have a pretty good idea of, you know, what it's about and you know what the good business decision is to make. Anyway, that's my update for today.